Hi everyone, Bria here from Extra Actuarial and in today's video I'm talking all about how you can learn calculus if you want to study for your first actuarial exam. So if you don't already know, the first two actuarial exams that I recommend you write are exam P and exam FM. Both of them do require some calculus, but for most people exam FM is a lot easier because it doesn't require quite as much calculus as exam P. Exam P especially has a ton of calculus on it, so you'll have to know calculus really well in order to pass that exam. But one of the problems that a lot of people have when they're just starting studying for their first actuarial exam is that they haven't used calculus in a long time or some people have never even taken a calculus course at all. So if that is you, then you're going to want to check out two really good resources where you can learn calculus for free. The first is called Khan Academy, and this is my favorite one because it's really well organized. I will leave a link to it in the description of this video. And the other one is YouTube. So YouTube has tons of great videos too, but you kind of have to know what you're looking for and what kind of topics you want to study if you're going to watch and learn from YouTube. Khan Academy, on the other hand, has everything organized, so it has everything grouped into things like differentiation and integration and limits and things like that. And that's really helpful because it will guide you step by step so you know the order of the videos that you should watch and learn. It'll give you an order to watch everything in, and that's really helpful when you're just starting out. So if you are just about to start studying for exam P or FM, I actually highly recommend you learn calculus first before you purchase any study materials and everything like that. Just because for some people you might decide that this calculus just is too difficult or you don't want to put in the energy and all the work it takes to learn calculus because if you don't want to do that then you're probably not going to want to spend all the time studying for an actuarial exam. And just for some people the calculus it just doesn't click anymore or you just can't get it back or you can't figure it out and then there's really no point in purchasing study materials because honestly the study materials kind of assume you have some background in calculus so you're going to need to know that. So you might be kind of wondering how much calculus you need to know and what you need to know and like I said before what you really need to know is you have to have an understanding of limits you need to know how to integrate and how to differentiate. If you know all three of those things, then you're going to be okay for exam P and FM. Of course, you don't have to have a 100% understanding of it all at the beginning. Your study materials will teach you some of that along the way, but it's just good if you have a general understanding of how all that works and that it makes sense to you. And that's gonna really give you an upper hand when you start studying. Now, once you have learned all your calculus, you're going to want to purchase study materials and that's going to be the next step. I have a really helpful, well at least I think it's helpful, blog post about the best study materials for exam P and FM that you can go check out too once you've learned your calculus. I will leave those in the link, or I will leave those in the description below this video too. And lastly, if you are trying to study for your first actuarial exam, I would love to help you in the study strategy program. That's a program where I guide you step by step so that you know exactly what you need to do to fully prepare for your first exam. Because it's really not anything like you've probably experienced before. There's a lot more that needs to happen and usually students spend about 100 to two or 300 hours studying for their first exam. So there is a lot you need to do to be fully prepared. And if you are writing your first exam, I'd love to help you do that. So check out the study strategy program. I'll leave a link in the description with all the others and I will see you in the next video. Bye.